Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, things have taken a turn for the worse. Since I've convorted with the Daedra. Unintentionally doing the bidding of Molag Bal. And being directly or indirectly responsible for the death of Vigilant Tyrannus, whom I tried to recruit to help with the vampire issue. I have been demoted. What? I've been demoted by Vigilant Cyrus to a common Vigilant while he goes in search of other members to join the Vigilant of Stendar. He's given me an executioner to help carry out the bidding of Stendar. But we were following a Khajiit whom I need to have a conversation with, but what's going on up here? You there. You have something to say. Well, save your breath. The way I see it, you don't have much more of them left. I just wanted to talk. Talk is for cowards whose blades say nothing. I wish to know your name. A son of Cloudula Temple named me the Desert Fang. The Thalmor know me as Descuria. To you, I am simply Zavashni, the Khajiit who spared your life. Spared my life? I just helped save yours. Tell me about your armor and sword. Akaviri, forged in a dragon land, is a sword and armor of the blades. Sworn to the service of the true Emperor, but know this, my sword serves no one. You could be Tiber Septim Reborn, and I'll still send you back to the Divines with your head in your arms. Hmm, I like your spirit. I think I see why Vigilant Cyrus sent me. You would make a good member of the Vigilant. I've heard the Blades do not recruit those who will not serve. You think on who they were, and not who they are. The Blades are a group of bandits, rogues bandits. and traitors. Most of all, they are fools. Fools who couldn't see past their own weakness. Like parasites who cling to the lion's mane, the weak must ally with the strong, and pray the arm flipped off by the stroke of its tongue. It makes no difference whether this Titus Mead is of dragon blood or Skeever, just hmm. that his Skeever army blood. stands between them and the executioner's axe. If the blades were fools, they would measure their emperors by where they seat their Thalmor guests. At the table, or on a pike. So where do you hail from? Cyrodiil, fool. From the steps of Cloudwilla Temple. From whence I came before that, no one knows. A blade who had left the service found me as he descended the steps. 
To him it was a sign from the divines. In truth, it was just a cowardly mother waiting for the opportune time and a man with forlorn eyes. Having left the order, his eyes were indeed tainted with sorrow, and for that he pitied this kitten when he should have abandoned it. Yet it was his newly discovered faith in the workings of the gods that inspired him to develop the skills for which I'm the caretaker. It sounds like fate to me. The world is full of such tales of fate and coincidence. That's what we burn into our memories. And all the other instances. Every day we live without incident. Those moments are never ascribed to the laziness of the gods. Just forgotten. You may not be a blade, but I doubt you're just some scavenger. True. The one I killed to gain this armor was indeed a blade. A master of the dual sword technique. And my mentor. He was a man of forty years. And I know older than a dozen. When I first bested him in single combat. Yet he was still my better. And our bodies would never be at an age where I could prove otherwise. At sixteen, my mentor had exhausted his use to me in terms of body. I would have granted him death right then, if not for the secrets his mind guarded. What secrets? The way of the Nine. The Nine. Stances and techniques derived from the teachings of the Divines. That was his legacy, and his gift to me, his only pupil. But only when I was ready. A phrase thrown around by masters of all disciplines, who wish to teach their pupils the value of patience. What I wasn't ready for, and never would be, was religious nonsense with which he dressed the art of the kill. Now as I enter my prime, I search for the lesson that escaped into the void when we last crossed our blades. So, you killed the one person who could teach you. Fool. Your words display the emptiness of your mind. It was my mentor himself who stated the stance of R.K. was one passed on through death. Yet it's possible, as R.K. governs life and death, that it was a test of one's scruples, and in killing him, the technique is lost to eternity. Yet if I hadn't struck the killing blow, then I myself would be lost to the void. And that's a trade only imbeciles like you would find worthy. That you dare. Alright then. I think we might be on similar journeys. There's something that I need to learn here. Tell me about the way of the Nine. You will understand little of what I speak, and much of it is of no practical use, but facile metaphors tossed around by dying man. But I will enjoy watching your brow twitch in confusion as I pass his words on to you. Take, for instance, Debella, the god of beauty. So, what's so special about this technique? Fool, the stance of R.K. is the very heart of the do sword technique. Life and death, ice and fire, the nature of all things are born of two. This duality applies to both life and battle. When a mortal kills a foe, in that instant, 
Ake grants death to one and life to the other. Or so the priestly ones will tell you. Yet the true duality lies not in the dirt and stars, but in how the blade serves as both a sword and shield. Twin moons, one sky. Each blade shifts from offense to defense. A mirror reflection of the other, and the opponent knows not where to strike. Yet as it is not a single stance, but a motion that adapts to its opponent, it has proved as impenetrable in theory as it is in practice. I'm interested in how you killed your master. It snowed that night when it should have rained. My mentor looked at the sky and said Kynareth was all out of tears. And I said, Kynareth does not cry for fools. We drew our swords and dashed through the trees, our feet rapping against the snow. The night before, I had chosen my stance. While most would use the flurry of Akatosh, the technique is too violent. I could kill my mentor and lose sight of the very thing I sought to learn. And in the spiritual sense, the father does not come before the son. What stance did you use? It was the defense of Zenithar that shielded me from his attack. If I saw both his blades as swords and not shields, I could parry, if not kill. Our blades clashed, but made no sound. Muffled by the snowstorm, his swords came at me from all directions, but I kept my eyes on his feet. Or more precisely, the tracks he left in the snow. There was a pattern there, if only I had more time. So, you switch stances. To Akadosh, I went for the flurry and the kill. Yet when I saw his blade rise to the block, I hesitated, only to see that very blade run me through. It was then that he revealed the true essence of the technique. I assumed he moved to protect his life when his stroke came for my death. But the blade missed my heart by the width of a cat's hair. I made no such mistake with his neck. And so you killed him. Just like that, it was over. I dropped to my knees and reached for my potion as his body drowned in a cascade of snow. I tossed the half-empty bottle beside his severed head and said he could have the rest. When he didn't respond, I couldn't help but laugh. All of it, the tracks, the blood, and his legacy, washed away in a tide of white. Are there any rumors or interesting news that you might share? There's a stag that passed through here, white as a summer cloud. The hunters said it would look better in red. Fools all become heroes when their opponent is a helpless beast. much to do. Atar. You stopped. What is it? I'm here to learn a lesson from this Khajiit. It's a vigilant paladin, Cyrus. It is his command.
All right, so I need to keep an eye out for further developments and ask innkeepers for information regarding crypts that may house Shivani's mentor. I'm sure I'm butchering that name. All right, that's what I gathered from all this. Innkeepers. Let's see what inns are near here. I suppose we can start in Falkreath. Hope you're willing to back those words up with your fists. Oh, here we go. You know, I'm not sure what will happen if I get involved. I don't want the guards to lock me up. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. Thank you. I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only to have it track me down again in Skyrim. Is there any news or rumors floating about? Here, take a look at this. It's nothing. All right, thank you. You hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. Damn you! Do your work. Watch what you're doing. Uh, let's get going. Yeah, really, you're here cheering on the fight. All right, let's see what she's given me. Attention hunters. Spriggans and bears have been seen taking refuge in Moss Mother Cavern. Hunters should take extra care when entering the cave. I'm not sure this is what I'm looking for. Where'd she go? Well, I wouldn't complain if we could string together a few sunny days now and then. Any other rumors? Been talk of a little boy in Windhelm, no, name of Aventus boy, Aretino. Not this. Get this. He's been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Foolish lad. Anything else? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. <coughs> Anything else? Folks have gone missing the past few weeks. Word now's that our hunters are gone, too. Say, if you're traveling, could you keep an eye out for them? Valder and his men, I think they were after Bear up north. All right, thank you. I'll be right here if you need anything else. All right, so maybe this... Four? Maybe this uh, letter that we got does have some... Look at all this blood, really? Oh, I tell you. What now? This cavern, here it is. Tar. I don't want to ask, but you're giving a, a new meaning to the word riding bareback. All right, where is this cave? Not sure how much longer I can hold out here. Hello? Here we are. You! Over here, please, I need help. Please, do you have a potion you can spare? I do. I'm Vigilant Zaquan, the Vigilant of Stendar. Thank Kinnereth for you, stranger. I'd almost given up hope of walking away from here. What are you doing out here? We tracked a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggans. Niels went down before we even knew to run. Ari died just inside. I never even thought that things were real. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Oh, uh, Atar's here. All right, I have a potion. No, I, actually, let me use a spell. Thank you. Please hurry. 
can I? Hey. <sighs> much better. Thanks, friend. I wouldn't have lasted much longer without that. But now what? I can't just walk away, not with my friend's bodies in there being torn apart by those beasts. I understand. But I'll take care of it. You're injured. You stay here. You'd really risk your life for a stranger's honor? I don't even know what to say. Thank you, my friend. I'll wait here. All right, Atar. Hey. Let's go in here and clear out this cavern. What can I do for you? I wonder if this has anything to do with my quest. Ah, uh, here's Aerie. Ah, and there's a Spriggan. By the power of Stendar. Hmm, crypts. This wouldn't be considered a crypt. Crush a giant's head like a walnut. To destroy this bear. My restoration spells I'll tear you to doesn't pieces. seem to be helping. You're unharmed and strengthened. But this bear, you're not doing any damage to. More courage. I feel like I Crush a giant's head like a wall. And more aid. You can hit the bear. All right, I'm going to have to jump in. Might of Stendar, fall before my power.
That's... that's... wow. Mm, this is the other... fellow who died. Is there anything else in here? Friggin. Oh no, you Burned by the might of Stendar. Hmm, what's this? Gold. Definitely. Stopped. What is it? I don't see anything else. What was that? Another Spriggan. Son of a... Not to worry, Atar. Stendar's might extends to the extermination of these creatures as well. Alright, I don't know if there should be something in here pertaining to our overall quest. Doesn't appear to be. of Debella. And would I even recognize part of the quest if I stumbled upon it? My alchemy hobby just it just gets me carried away sometimes. It's done then. Justice, if you can call it that. Look, I want you to have this. I know it isn't much, but it's important to me. Ari gave me this dagger when we first started hunting together. I always said it brought her luck. You should be the one to carry it now. I'll give them a proper burial, then head back. Come find me if you're ever in Falkreath. You'll always be welcome at my door. All right, thank you. That's most kind, sir. All right, Atar. Executioner of Stendar. Here. It's time for us to continue my journey, my pilgrimage to knighthood and paladinism. <laughs> Come on, let's go.